YouTube, it's Lisa. Um, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It's January the 2nd and I'm already looking forward to the month ahead. Um, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and thoughts. Um, I got, as you can see, a new platinum pen and it just arrived today. So I'm excited about this one. I have one other platinum that I bought last year. Look at all the um, fancy plastic bags. There we go. Um, so it comes in the standard platinum packaging. This I'm very excited about, and the reason why. My journey into fountain pens has led me to love um, cursive, italic, and stub nibs. And this one is, oops, $37.76, but it's a music nib. So there's all that. Comes with the standard platinum um, packaging. And yes, this is a music nib, and I did buy this on Amazon, I was trying to go to Goulet um, or Pin Chalet, but nobody had the music nib, and Amazon did, surprisingly enough. So this is it. Um, it looks very similar to my other platinum. This one is the 3776 Fine Point. Show you like that. Get that into frame. Um, this pin casket will also have in it. Sometimes information is down below, and other times it's not. It looks like, oh, this one really kind of fell apart. Um, there's nothing there. You put it all up at the top. So we'll put that to the side. Um, the other nib that I bought last year was this Mount Verde um, Inova. This, is, this was a limited edition special release pen. Um, and now I have the OmniFlex nib in it and it takes some getting used to it's a little bit different than what i'm used to when it comes to stub nibs so um i'm not very good at writing with it yet um it does do thick and thins and i'll do a little small uh, writing sample that i've got pen and paper over here to the side so we can do that um this is the 3776 this is the fine point and this is a, I think, 18 karat gold nib as well. No, sorry, 14 karat gold nib. Um, so that's what the fine point looks like. And it is a very fine writer um, for a nib. And so this is the new music nib. So let me just, it's kind of unscrewed a little bit here. You can see that it has these two tines here. So it should provide some great variation um, in line. Sorry about that. I've got my window cracked. I know it's January in the metropolitan DC area, but we're having an extremely mild day with 50, 51 degree weather. So it's unseasonably warm thanks to global warming. Um, but yeah, this is the music nib. And I was watching Gourmet Inks, and I think her name is Aza was riding with it and I was just like, oh my God, I've got to get this one um, to round out my collection. But this is just a really beautiful um, 14 karat gold. Is this one 14 karat gold? I should have like looked at this before. Sorry, my um, light is fading for me, but I think this is a 14 karat gold nib as well. Um, but yes, it is M. You can see the M on there for music nib. And it's just absolutely, oh my God, I love these pens. They're so well balanced and they write so smoothly. Let me just slip that off of there. So without further ado, I am going to use, I decided for winter, I'm going to use blues and purples. So I'm going to be using this Irozuku Moroski Shibiko, Japanese pilot ink for it. And to uncap, get this going, 
Okay, let me just, before I have a disaster on my hand, let me just make sure that the, okay, there is a converter inside of it. So, actually, okay, the one complaint that I have about these pens is the ink capacity. That is the smallest ink capacity. Well, actually, it's not horrible. I take that back. It was already up all the way. You know what? I'm going to get a syringe and fill it that way so I don't have to worry about getting the nib all messy. And I'm going to just go ahead and fill it. My handy dandy ink syringe here will make for a lot quicker process and a lot messier. A lot less messier. Sorry. I think that's more than enough ink. And I'll just turn this upside down for just a second to let the ink flow into the feed. Get this ink out of the way so it's not an issue. Okay. This is some Rhodia paper that I have. Let's see if we can get this one to write fast enough. Okay, it's not down for enough. And this, I probably should have thought about cleaning it first, but I just wanted to give you first impressions. Let me, um, Really quick, right with the, um, so this is the Mount Verde. Let me zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna adjust my camera so I can get this on here so you guys can see this. So this is the Mount Verde. You can see how I can get some flex and get thick and thins here um, just by flexing the nib, right? So this is the great thing about the OmniFlex. This is an OmniFlex. And my handwriting is atrocious right now because I'm trying to straddle the tripod. Flex nib and rose gold. And that's just, just to show you the variation and the lines that you can get with that. <clears throat> this has a very satisfying click sound when it's shut. Now this one is the Platinum. This is the 3776. And this one is the Fine Point. 14K nib, and I am writing with, what ink is this one? This is J. Herban Vert Lanatide. This ink <laughs> is a shimmering ink, but you're not going to see it looking at it um, on this sample because unfortunately I don't have a wider nib but trust me if you like greens and you like a little bit of shimmer this that ink is absolutely a gorgeous ink um, to write with let me just get some ink going down in here really quick what I've done is unscrewed and like just kind of push down on the feeding mechanism oh no Okay, I'm not able to get this to start up right out of the gate, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. And 
Dip my pen in here. So this is the platinum. Oh. So this is the um this is a 3776 music nib with a 14 karat gold nib. Oh, it's great for light block letters. Oh God, I love this nib. Very smooth, um, like everybody has done on past um, reviews. Love the line variation. I'm sure I can get this to write a little bit more. Yeah, you can see that line variation. I mean, this is just like, just with the nib itself, just uh, even a little bit. Okay. It's kind of an ugly reverse nib right here, right now, but um, I haven't looked at the tines to make sure that they're okay, but I'm, I'm loving this pen. This is going to be fun to write with, <coughs> excuse me, with a shimmering ink, um, <clears throat> but I'm going to have to be careful with it being 14 karat gold. I don't want it to get too cloggy. <coughs> excuse me, and I do have an order coming in. Um, from some diamine from England that I'll be showing uh, later on this month, hopefully. So <clears throat> my initial thoughts are, like everyone has stated, this is a fantastic pen. Um, seems to be well-balanced in hand, really good in hand, like the section. Um, <clears throat> I like everything about this pen. Um, except it's not a quick start right now, and that's just probably because it's brand new and I didn't really kind of clean it before I used it. But difference, as you can see, from the fine point to the music nib, but this is a great pen. The great thing is I think this ink, it gets a little wet, but it's actually kind of on the dry side. So, <coughs> excuse me, even with a music nib, at least with this ink in it, the pilot ink that I have, um, it's drying pretty quick. It's not water resistant or waterproof, so <clears throat> you gotta be careful about that, but I love this purple ink. I haven't been able to use it in a while, so I'm really excited to actually put it in this pen and use it. All right, guys, um, if you liked this video or have any comments, please put it below in the comments. I will also put the link um, for where I got this on the Amazon. It's January 2021, and like I said in my December video, I do have an affiliates link with Amazon. Um, that'll help me out, give me a little bit of a, a discount, but it also will give you guys the same pricing that I did, hopefully, on this, um, this music nib. But if anybody's looking at a very smooth writing music nib, and even as an introductory level, this pen was under $150. It's a steal of a deal. Um, I really would suggest um, that somebody pick this pin up. That would be my recommendation. It writes fantastically. It posts. Sometimes that's a little sicky. But <clears throat> overall, excuse me, I'm really sorry. Um, just a fantastic pin. So, yeah, leave your comments below. And thank you so much for stopping by. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me questions below. I'm pretty responsive. Take care, guys. Happy New Year and take care. Bye.